Okay, if you're watching this on December 23rd, lucky you. Either like this year or next year, I don't freaking care. I do not regret this, but here are some tips and facts that will easily get you um bored and ready to actually freaking sleep on Christmas Eve because that is the hardest challenge to ever accomplish pretty much for a lot of us even if you're old and stuff you just can't wait even if you don't get presents i mean just the feeling of christmas it's freaking good but um yeah let's get to this let me start off with tips and then facts later cuz i don't really want to learn but here are some tips to easily go to sleep. One, you're lucky on December 23rd because this is a night where you get the chance to stay up pretty much. Your mom might go to sleep early. It might be dark. You might be scared. Who freaking cares? If you want to get past December 24th, which is the day where your stomach hurts of how excited you are, then you're going to have to stay up all night tonight because I swear... Um, second of all, during Christmas, since maybe you left on December 23rd, since it's going to be Christmas Eve <laughs> tomorrow, <clears throat> um, that means it's going to be good for you to exercise a lot, first of all. A lot of people say, no, don't, because it will make you just even more energetic when you sleep. For some of us, it actually works really well. Just exercise as much as you possibly can, like go outside, jump up and down. What I usually do is get, um, you know, target bags, plastic bags, throw them up and down and catch them. It actually really works pretty well to get you worked out. And, um, just do anything that will get you tired, especially when it's the 24th, the night. During the whole day, Drink as much milk as you can because I heard that can get you easily to sleep, especially more milk. Like, have as much as you can. I mean, don't get sick from it, but just do as much as you can without getting sick. And, um, last of all, since you're going to be extremely excited, just let it all out, okay? Go outside. I mean, you're allowed to scream. It's Christmas freaking of you, you can scream. Just go outside and yell, Merry freaking Christmas! Okay, that sounded cringy, but still. I have to tell you, all of this works for a lot of us. And now that we're done with the tips, let me get you some facts that will easily make you tired and think it's a normal night. One more tip is before we get to your ruined Christmas is simply pretend it's a normal night. Yeah, it doesn't work too much, but maybe read a boring book. I don't know. Do something that is educational if you hate education. Whatever. Just do anything that is boring enough to get you tired if boring stuff makes you tired. Watch a two-hour thing on how to do calculus or whatever. Um. And finally, for the facts, well, not really facts, but you guys know what I mean. To get you all tired for Christmas Eve, just think of it. All it really is on Christmas is opening presents and then going to church, right? Yeah, that's all. You're probably going to go to your advent calendar and find a little chocolate that has Santa Claus on it, or if you're that type of person that buys the Sum Sum calendar every year, then you're probably going to get Mickey Mouse. 24th. No deal. Casual Mickey Mouse, whatever. But still, try to make Christmas Eve as boring as possible, like I said. I mean, Christmas is all getting presents, and yeah, it's exciting stuff, but what are you gonna do after? Play with your presents and get bored with it? Exactly. So just think of that, and then on Christmas night, you'll be like, eh, whatever. But if, the, if you're still excited like me, just think. You already have a bunch of stuff around you. You're probably going to sell them when you're 14 and not give a two craps about it. And last but not least, 
Think of the pain everyone's going to be in waking up early, especially if, if they have a migraine. If I were you, if you seriously want to sleep as quick as humanly possible on the 24th, do exactly why it's on your tip, and especially just scream, okay? That's all you need to do, scream. Then watch something as boring as this. Now I can't think of anything else, but... For the moment, I'm just going to think it out. Now that I think of it, do something that you want to do, actually, that night. If you like doing something that takes you a while, that's great. Read the Harry Potter series again. Let's see if you can finish in one hour and then go to sleep. Or just simply draw something extremely confusing and try to color it in. Try to make your own extremely perfect little circle thingy with a lot of patterns and I forgot what that's called but it's on the little things that you have to color in that gets you not stressed. Try to look up things that will make you bored and not too excited. And then just start crafting. Even though if you you might be the family like me that just has a paper and pencil, you can still figure out a way to make something with that. I mean, I've made many things with just the paper and pencil and soon enough, you'll be hanging on the wall and saying, this is what I did on Christmas freaking Eve. And last but not least, think of the pain you'd be in as a child that you got nobody presents probably or if you did, you probably forgot to unwrap them. And if you did, then good for you. And then last but not least, think of what you do after Christmas. Like, is there going to be anything else than just opening presents? What I mean is like, after Christmas, are you going to dye your hair or something? Be excited for that instead of Christmas. Or like, are you going to finish your Final way? No, no, there's no way you're gonna finish. Actually, yeah, for your elective. I I'm just stuttering on. I'm just trying to think of something for you guys. But if you're watching this on Christmas Eve, go get yourself some more milk and watch something boring. I have a playlist that's public called Amazing Things that would probably get you creeped out. And, um,. Or at least for some of us think it's beautiful. Most of us probably boring. But soon enough I'll find a two hour calculus video to put in the description for you guys, but I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Um I don't know what to do next, but if you're really that excited just Wake up your parents, for God's sake. If it's like 12 o'clock midnight, just give them a reason. If they're not going to wake up like most of them, I don't know. But the best thing to do, finally, before ending this video, is just think. Think about a long song. Think about what to do. Think about anything. Think how swirls became swirls. Or what do most snowflakes look like close up? Or what even is Christmas? Yeah, the birth of Jesus, but what if there was something before that? I mean, Jesus is a great person, yes. But, you know, I think. The next thing you'd probably be thinking about is how cringy this video is. And yeah, that's a great thing to think on Christmas Eve. So, I'm, so just cuddle your cats or dogs if you prefer it. Cover yourself in like thousands of blankets, and enjoy your Christmas Eve. I hope I wasn't that grinch, but good night.